Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Um, today I'm going to just share with you a project I've been working on. Um, in a couple of weeks, my beautiful sister will be 50 years old. She's a bit younger than me. Um, so um, we went on a little holiday together um, to celebrate her birthday. But I also wanted to... Um, make something for her so I've made an explosion box and inside the explosion box I've used the new um, Tim Holtz curio box to make uh, something special for her so I just will share this with you now so this is, and I'm sorry about the lighting. It's really gloomy here today. It actually looks like it might rain. Here's hoping. Um, just try and shift. So I've made um, the flowers myself. Um, just using. So they're all coloured with um, these distress oxide so this one here is antique linen the pink is fun sugar and this one is festive berries and ripe persimmon together and the paper I've used is something new to me so um, I got this paper it's from dress my craft and um it really makes fabulous um, I make lots of paper flowers lots of them and this paper just seems to have a little extra um, it's kind of easier to mold to the shape you want and when it's dry it's really quite hard so it's um, yeah I really like it um, I'll definitely be getting some more of it. It's easy to colour, easy to shape. Yeah, I really liked it. The paper I've used is one of my favourite um, paper makers is Minte. And I've used the Love Letters. It's just the most beautiful paper collection I just love it. Um, all Minte paper, I think, is stunning. And I've also added for the outside of the box um, some rose gold, a die cut that I have. So that's the outside. So the sides are all the same. And then when the lid comes off, Okay, I'm just going to take that out of the picture for just a moment until I show you. Okay, so you kind of can't see it all, unfortunately. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like inside. So I've just layered lots of the... I uh, did lots and lots of fusser cutting some of the elements from the collection and on this opposite sides I've done the happy birthday so I just used a little fussy cut uh, not fussy cut die cut doily and again the beautiful rose gold happy birthday a little bit of fussy cutting Seriously, this paper is so beautiful. You don't have to do very much to it. It's so gorgeous. That's the other side. Okay. Really sorry about the lighting. It's, I've got four lights on in here and it's still really dark and hard to see. But anyway, can't be helped. So that's... Um, what the inside of the box looks like and I'll just put that there so 
this is the other thing I made. So, um, I recently purchased this die from Arnie Vera at Arnie Vera Scrap and Craft. So, this comes with it. Um, it's from Tim Holtz. It's the Curio box. It is hands down now my favourite die. Um, so this is, I was supposed to leave this um, not done together. So you get, it cuts two parts. So this is the part that fits inside. And this is the top piece now. The top piece um, is where you use these bits to cut out whichever shape you want. I'll just show you. So to have a bit of a practice, this is one I've already made. So that's the bottom piece and this is the top piece. And I've cut out, um, I think it was this, just look. Yeah, the smaller. So I cut that shape into the lid, obviously, before I made it. But there's also this bigger one and then there's two oval ones. So this was my practice one to get a just to get a good idea of how it goes together and so that was my little practice one. So to make this I actually put four of them together. Um, where I've done all of this um, collage is where the boxes are joined together so this one just says happy 50th birthday and the rest I have just left because these are um, three by four cut apart so you only have to trim them down a little bit to fit in the box and I just think they're so beautiful I just wanted to leave them. I've done a little bit of collage on that one. And, that, and then I added some metal feet that were a bronzy colour. So I've just gessoed them and put some, uh, what's it called? Opal polish on it, not the blue, the pink one, but I don't have it here at the moment. It's at my other desk. And another flower on top that's also, you can maybe see in there. So obviously when I've joined the four together, there's a bit of a hole there. So I've just covered it up with a piece of matching paper and made a big flower to go to hopefully match in. And to make all of these flowers I used this die it's a paper roses one it's, it's really great you can shape it in so many different ways it's a really great die and with that um, with that paper it just yeah there really like that's lovely and firm hold okay and I've just put the little feet on with um, glossy accents to hold them on and it fits inside the box just about have to be an octopus to do this but I just put three sides on and like so so yeah that's what I've been working on thank you for having a look and have a great day bye for now